Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel and in today's video I'll show you how I turn my task list from Toodle Do into a schedule in Notability. So I read an interesting article recently in the simpledollar.com where the author had reviewed and ranked five popular productivity hacks. So I'll include a link to that article in the comments section below. So the hack that ranked the highest out of the five, shaving 72 extremely specific minutes off of the daily clock, was getting rid of to-do lists. Um, so I got a little miffed when I first read the sentence since I actually live and die by my task list. But what they meant was getting rid of to-do lists and replacing them with a schedule. And it turns out I already employ this hack. I turn my to-do list into a schedule pretty much every day. So what that means in practice is that instead of having a list of things that need to be accomplished, even if you have it entirely prioritized, you have to estimate how long it will take to complete each task, you put them into an actual hourly schedule, and then race to complete them in the allotted time. So I've already mentioned this process quickly in my Toodle Do video, but I decided to pull it out and make it its own video in light of the usefulness of this productivity hack. So my ADHD brain needs that little squirt of adrenaline that this process provides to help me stay focused and keep my productivity high throughout the day. I definitely get more accomplished when I do this and I suffer way less from just diddling around or daydreaming. So you can do this with any electronic to-do list or even a, a, like a photo of your handwritten list. For work, I still use a low-tech spreadsheet, but at home I use the Toodle Do app. So I, I add items to Toodle Do constantly. Uh, remember to call the, the, uh, for kids' doctor's appointments, send out the carpool schedule, pick up my contacts, etc. So in addition, I have a bunch of recurring appointments that happen either daily or weekly or monthly or whatever, and so I always seem to wake up to a full list of tasks on any given day. So here's the process at its most basic. I do this on my iPad. I guess I could work on an iPhone. The, screen, the small screen size is probably not ideal. But I open up the to-do app and I screenshot my task list, okay? So now I open up the Notability app and I create a brand new document. Um, and then I usually name it um, date, which is automatic, and then day, and then tasks. But I actually delete all these when I'm done so the name doesn't really matter all that much. So now I pull in the screenshot of my task list. Um, I choose to add media and then photo and then I find my photo, and then I crop it down to what I want to see by um, choosing the edit, um, then the cropping tool, then done. So that's gonna go on the left side of the page. So now I add any additional tasks that I would need to do that day. So that would be things like showering or cleaning up the kitchen. Those are usually too mundane to make it onto my to-do to list, but they take up time, so I handwrite them onto Notability. So now I go through this list and I assign approximate duration for each activity in minutes or hours. So once I've done that, I pull in a blank schedule. Um, so you can easily make one of these by going into your calendar, whatever you use on your iPad. I use the Google Calendar app. Um, but you can do this anywhere. You switch the view to daily, you turn off all of your calendars so that you don't have any appointments cluttering up your day, and uh, do a screenshot. So you can just do this one time and store it in your photos for your iPad and then you don't have to do it each time. The date is not um, important at all. So I pull this blank hourly schedule in, just like I did um, for the original screenshot. And then I crop it so that it just shows the time frame that I have. So for example, on Tuesdays I have from 7.30 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. to get through my list. So I crop it like this. So now I determine what order I want to accomplish my tasks and I number them. Now, how you choose to do this is purely a matter of preference and personal style. So most of the time I do shortest duration task to longest duration task. But some people like to get the big stuff done first, and some people like to intersperse smaller tasks between the larger ones. That's entirely up to you. So generally, I count up all of my five minute tasks and I assign them to um, the first block of the day. And then I do all of my 10 minute tasks. Um, 
Then I schedule in the longer tasks with um, their own blocks of time. So frequently, when, once I get to the end of the day, I'll find that I can't do everything, so I have some choices to make. And then I go back into Toodle Do and I push back the dates on some of the items that didn't make the cut. And once I have a schedule, I take a deep breath and get to work, racing against the clock and scratching out things once I've completed them. So my husband and my kids know that I don't have time to answer the phone or any emails on the days that I am getting things done. I tend not to give in to distractions because that will bump my schedule around. So just in case that does happen, you can move things around relatively easily in Notability. So let's just say that balancing my checkbook took one hour rather than 30 minutes. So I can use this scissor tool to move everything back by a half an hour. So it's actually just ra it's less a matter of difficulty and more a matter of just wanting to finish everything that I expected to. So here's a Toodle Do hack. If you happen to use Toodle Do like me, you can assign a duration to each task within the app. And then you can sort the list by task duration. So I've started using this a little bit since it, it makes it a little bit easier to group, my, group all of my short five minute tasks. I still pull the list into Notability since I always want leeway to do tasks in a different order than to do Toodle Do's prescribes. I like the satisfaction of manually scratching off completed tasks. And most of all, I want to see my tasks on an hourly schedule because it keeps me focused and productive. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.